For sale, one ferret, slightly used. Let's play some Sunless Sea. Twenty-five, I think. I've lost count. Twenty-five. Let's go with twenty-five. The Carmine Chapel. A little chapel stands alone. You poke your head through the door. The walls are, ru are deep red, just this side of scarlet. A ruby-tinted window at the back glows with steady light. An electric lamp behind a glass, rare and expensive, but this is no gaslight. No one is here, and yet you have the sensation that only a moment ago someone must have been. We can leave. We can make an offering. We can't make an offering with half familiar rites, but we can search the place, which is a straightforward challenge with a 100% chance of success. I think we're going to be doing that one. Okay, so, okay, you're right. So we can make an offering because we're not unaccountably peckish. I wonder what that is. Well, let's search the place. An hundred. There is an altar, a block of basalt there. There are pews, a pulpit, no Bible, no hymn books. The stained glass window is red of cockyol. An inscription on the lintel of the door reads... For I was an hungered, and ye gave me meat. That is all. We've gained some terror. We've succeeded in a mirror's challenge, and we've gained 20 fragment. That's almost given us another secret. So, not too bad at all. Well, this is Bat Swarm. I, well, it's either 26 or 42, one or the other. Here we go. There, let's go with 27. It sounds about right. So that would make this one 28. Seven Nightmares. That's going to be fun to deal with, isn't it? And I think this is going to be our last one of this run round. Some long-awaited prize money. So, we've got a crew back. We've got 50 Echo. Oh, good. Pirates. here is really well illuminate them and given them the big bang. Which this definitely is, that's good. Let's chuck another one of those in afterwards, that should finish them off. Yeah, that's definitely going to finish them off. Right, will our luck hold if we send it back to port? We were fortunate. Excellent.
at number 28. Well, that's our food pack to ten. And what I'm thinking about it, come here you. I want a word. And the word I want is, let me take your ship back to port so we can make some money out of it. Good. Too late to evade now. Way too late to evade now. Pretty good odds. 80% chance. Let's give it a go. We were unlucky. We've lost two crew. Ooh. We've lost too many crew. But as if to make us feel better, here comes Bat Swarm number 29. Or is it 30? Or is it 762? I kind of forgot. Let's go with 30. We'll tentatively call this one Bat Swarm number 31. If I've missed any numbers, I perhaps edited them out. You never know. Here come 33 and 34. Yeah, let's do a little bit of repairing while we're at it. So we'll do a repair, then a shot. They're quick. They use up supplies, which we have plenty of. That's nice. A nice, clean, shiny hole. And some supplies to fill up the ones we used. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't be shy. There we go. Oh, dear. These cowardly bats these days. It's terrifying. Come on, Squeakers is hungry. He needs his food. Hole almost back to maximum. Excellent. A 
and supplies almost back to maximum. Yeah, hey. On the horizon, a sickly yellow light glimmers for a moment, then fades. As we explore once again, we find the Carmine Chapel again. Let's find out what happens if we make an offering. One echo. An uncertain outcome. Prayer soothes your soul, they say. Your soul is not soothed. You wait, head bent, while the light of the chapel peats on, shadowless and unmoved. Nothing changes. The red of the place gets into your vision. The faces of a crew seem flushed, as if fevered. You hear your own breathing echo raggedly. No one is sitting in the pew behind you. It doesn't stop you looking. The scene will stay with you. Perhaps you can write of it when you return to London. So we gained a tale of terror. We've lost an echo and we've gained five terror. Very nice. More bats. 
34th, I think, but to be honest with you, the numbers have stopped meaning anything. Squeakers is threatening to rebel if we don't feed him something else. I really have no idea what to do as a commentary at this point because, quite frankly, I'm just doing the same thing again and again and again and again and again and, again. and also again. <sighs> I feel better now. And 36. Yes, you guessed it. 37. I'm starting to miss the giant sharks that jump aboard and rip everyone to pieces. No, I'm not. That was a stupid statement to make. And thirty The crew dawdle at the rail, watching the lights of London. One last pirate. Aren't we lucky? See if we can take him out quickly. Hopefully we have enough crew to be able to send him home. Otherwise this is a bit of a waste of time. Wild shots do not fear me. Okay, we're going to send this one back to port. That's the last time we can do it because we're left with one crew. We were fortunate. You remember that crew member we took on a while back in Vendabite who said he works really, really, really hard? Well, he'd better because he's doing everyone's job right now. Everyone's. Including the ferret.
Well, here we are. We're back in London. This is going to be the last time I do this. I think we've got plenty of... a lot of stuff now. We're going to need to rearm, resupply a little bit, and uh, get some crew on. But I think we'll do that next episode. But here, first of all, here we are, back in town. A breath of relief. As soon as the gangplank touches the quayside, the terrors of the Z deep Z lighten. Walk taller. Smile more readily. But what dreams may cling? So, we've um, lost a lot of terror, but our nightmare strength has gone up to nine. Okay. Someone wants to sign on. I think we should have a few of those by now. Um, page, no, no, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't show them in the hold. That's annoying. Right, there we are, back in London. Let's just sell up a few bits and pieces, and then I'm going to call it the end of it. So we will sell off our port report for Vendorbyte. There's another 10. And our lodgings. Let's get a restful night's sleep. That'll help us combat the... Uh, don't do that. Let's do it again anyway. Let's do it again anyway. Here we go. We're going two gas rest from night's sleep. We've lost 20 echo, but I think we'd afford it. Long awaited prize money. We've gained 100 echo. We've got back four crew. Excellent. And we still can't do anything else here. No, we can't. Captivating treasures, outlandish artifacts, a zong of the Z. We can't even consider retiring from Z faring life. Okay, into the city. Right. Can't visit the university yet. We need to save a secret for that. That's very important for us. Um, we need to hire on more crew. We've lost one terror, we've gained two crew. We've lost 30 Echo. Let's do that one more time. We gained. Now we're back up to 9. That's almost full crew. That cost us a bit, but it was worth it. And let's pick up some Tomb Colonists just in case. And I think we can justify putting our ship into Dry Dock. So let's do that. And let's pick up an extra 25 points of power. There we go. Maximum hull. Right. We still have over 300 echoes. Not doing bad. So shops quickly. We have 5 fuel. Let's get that up to 10. Back into London. The last thing I want to do this episode is pick up some new recruits. Let's see who we've got. Engage an officer, Maybe's daughter. Hello, where are you headed? On second thoughts, I don't mind. Can I come aboard? Yes, I'm an engineer, but I, I'm an engineer in a hurry. We don't have an engineer, that might be good. She gives us increases vials, iron and engine power. That one. Oh yes. Or we can engage an officer, a presbyterate adventurous. Good afternoon, Captain. Looking for a gunnery officer? I'd like to help you blow up some monsters, if you'll have me. She will increase iron and valves. Given the choice of the two, they cost the same. Oh. Maybe's daughter costs less, but increases more stuff. Let's have Maybe's daughter. So, what does that give us? Uh, we want officers. Baby's daughter. Hey, you're cute. Um, a smile, a wink, a butterfly tattoo. An intense and detailed knowledge of weaponry and engines. So, veils plus six, iron plus six, engine power plus 100. I can live with that. Welcome on board, my dear. Let's hope we don't eat you. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. Speak to her. Speak to Maybe's daughter. Perhaps you don't entirely trust her, but she keeps the engines turning, and she's hard to dislike. Right, um, we can't invite anyone to dine with us yet. 
and she will improve our Veil score, which is actually pretty pitiful, so not too bad. Well, I think that's a good halt, and that's a good place to stop. We have a lot of money. Well, we don't have a lot of money, but we have a bit more money than we used to. We have um, supplies up the wazoo, and I think we're ready to actually start moving on. Next episode, I think we will pick up some better weapons, and then we will explore a little bit more. Maybe head south, maybe head east. We'll see where we go. Well, thank you very much, guys. This has been Sunless Sea. I've been Simon Parsons. Thank you, and good night.